All right, people, welcome back. Another episode of Daily Duel. So today is Wednesday, and that means that we are using Klebola. So, as you can clearly see, there's a Trampolinks. I will, I, I've never been a big fan of this card, but I wanted to go ahead and try it out, seeing a lot of the Klee decks use it, and they topped with it. So I was like, eh, never mind. Just, 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 then just test it out. Give me that scout. Uh, yep, give me that scout. Uh, like I said, uh, did my balance prediction. Uh, so I said scout to one. Like I said, do Klee need to be hit? Yes. But who do you point the finger at is the question, you know? Right now, it's, you know, it's, it's pondering. To say the least, uh, you know what, what, what makes Cleese good? You know what makes Cleese good? The strength of Pendulum Summoning, the searchability of Scout, and the strength of Killer. So, and let you can't you can't kill their Pendulum Summon ability. They're all Pendulum, so that's not gonna happen. Uh, the Killer, you only run one Killer. All you need is one Killer, and you're locking your opponent down with the power of the you know the invincible ass Killer. So unless you ban Killer, you can't do that. You just gotta lower the consistency, you know? If you drop the scout to one, like I said, are you really gonna run triple summoner's art? You you run triple summoner's art for two scouts because you probably want one monolith, you know, but if we drop scout down to one, you know, just completely it lowers the consistency of the deck. That's really what the deck needs, is just get its consistency lowered. So right now it is just it's it's too consistent. It is, like oh, alright. So we're having a mirror match. Or maybe you can show me something that I don't know about Cleese, because right now I'm not the most confident person when it comes to Cleese. So we both got Scout, clearly, see? Oh yeah, that too, so what? He didn't even have to search for his, he just opened up with his. So... The thing is, I can go ahead and activate, lose one turn, so the monster's a pendulum on our defense mode, but he'll probably just go ahead and tribute for... Uh, you know, one of his, uh, Klee monsters. So, right now, it's not looking too hot for me. You know, depending on what he pendulum summons right now. Never really experienced a Klee mirror match. You know, and, you know, sometimes the only thing that can really beat Klee is... Oh, he opened up really well. Really well. Yeah, he opened up really well. Especially when he goes ahead and tributes it to, especially if it's like a stealth or something. Like, oh, damn, I'm fucked. Shell. I'm still gonna get it because those two are gonna go off, and then he's still gonna draw two during the end phase. Like, and he's gonna pop my scout. Like, whoo! I'll go ahead and activate my uh, get my scout. But yeah, he opened up much better than me. He didn't even have to, you know, pot or do anything to get his scout. He just opened up with it. Flexing, isn't it? <coughs> So, there goes a nice chunk out of my life points. And then he gets to draw two for the monolith, too. So, I barely have any life points to play for even search for my scout. Like, I'm probably screwed. Possibly. I can play you. Play you, you search for, like, stealth or someone. Pendulum some. Yeah, play you, pendulum summon you two. Should be two for like stealth. Now, all you would do is turn the hand, then he could just suck in Pendulum Summon. But I gotta get rid of his scale. Yeah, I gotta get rid of his scale. So. I, that's pretty much all I have to do. I have to get rid of his scale. So, you got the MST? Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and search for that stealth. So we'll go ahead and play Trample Links. And I'll Pendulum Summon. And you, you, and you. Okay. And you, and you, and you. Trampling wants to go ahead and return, but there's really no point. I don't even have the life points to even do Trampling's effects, like, at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and tribute you to Normal Summon You. I'm gonna have you go ahead and pop you, you pop. Wait, no. So you spin you, you pop you, and then I return you one. Turn to the hand, and pop, pop you, turn you. 
and I guess we're trying to use them. I mean, it really doesn't matter. Yes. Uh, carrier is the one that pops it, bounces a monster, right? I guess. Like I said, it really doesn't matter. Do I want to return the card to hand? Sure. Okay, let's go ahead and pop your scout. Carrier will go ahead and bounce your monster. Stealth will go ahead and bounce your back row. Oh, right, it's unaffected. Ah, that's fine. I'll crash. So, I destroyed his scale, so... I think about just playing the Forbidden Chalice, because I'm not going to get much use out of it. So I'm still not in a good position. I pretty much destroyed his scale, so I gotta pretty much hope and pray that he doesn't have another way of setting up his scale. Because if he does, then... I'm gonna do shit. He gave me a thousand life points, yay! But, you know, if he can set up his skill again, he can just punch some of those two tribute them, and then he'll bounce me. And I'm looking at I'm sitting on the scout. That's the position. It's mirror match, though. So I'm gonna go ahead and normal summon disc. Play his odd eyes. So he's playing the odd eyes. Okay. And of course, the odd eyes will go ahead and get him his other scout. Like I said, there's just so many different ways of getting scout. We just have to lower it to one. Like, there's no reason for it to be any higher than that one. Oh, I don't know what I want to do. Oh, I don't know what I want to do. Oh, I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> I want to search again. I definitely do. I could summon killer. Yeah, I could summon Killer. I can go ahead and search for Killer, and Pendulum summon you two, and tribute all of you for Killer, and go ahead and pop and bounce, bounce, pop, you know. Let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and Pendulum summon you two back from the extra dot. Probably mess it up, but I'm not really willing to pay too much life points right now. Ooh, skill drain. Alright, well, that changes a lot. So now, even if I get killer, it doesn't matter because my effect will still be negated because I didn't hit the field first. But I can always bounce it. I can always bounce it. Oh, I was going to destroy that card anyway. Yeah, give me killer. Helix, Carrier, Still your skill drain. Hmm. Now I'm, now I'm pondering about what's going to happen in this duel. Check it this out, just a little bit more damage. Go ahead and pick up monster out of your hand for me. But the only one that can kill killer is killer, so. I really want to go ahead and destroy that monolith, like that's what I wanted to fucking destroy, but. I destroy that skill drain so I can give my killer its effect back. So he's gonna have 200 life points, like I said. Let's see if life points matter, because this is this door right here. It is literally about resources. So. It's pretty much kill my killer, kill my stealth, and take 2,000 life points away from me in this one turn. Because if he doesn't, or if he doesn't destroy my scout, he has to destroy my scout. Which I think he'll be able to do. Going to some summon those three. Oh no, he's just going to summon them in defense mode. Yep, lots of pendulums in defense mode. Oh, he's just gonna grab his own killer. Then he's just gonna tribute. I'm assuming he's gonna tribute them and have his killer crash into my killer. No, he's just gonna surrender. Huh. Thought he was gonna have his killer ram into my killer. 
yeah, like tribute summon like you, you, you tribute summon all of them, have all their effects go off, and bounce me, pop me, crash into me. Hmm. Huh. I don't know. I don't know. It seemed like he had it. Like I said, I wanted to get rid of the monolith, but I had to get rid of that skill drain. Anyway, get another duel and be right back. Alright, so the struggles are real. Like I said, I thought he had a duel, but man, the struggles are real. Alright, he's going first. Sand's not terrible, not great either. Uh, of course, I got the powerful lose one turn. It's a powerful card. Like, this card, this card just totally helps out. Wow, he's just gonna go ahead and pass. Wow, and there's the fucking scout. Wow. So, yeah, I fucking open up busted now. Like I said, fucking scout. You know, all you need is scout. You get scout and you're going to town. Like, I, my hand went from eh to whoo in like a matter of seconds. Like, that's how fucking crazy scout is. For any click card. Like, that, that's crazy. We got fucking nigga Stratos fucking fucking banned for searching here and we got fucking scout running around being all crazy and shit like scouts crazy brio's crazy like y'all fuckers are crazy wow so i'm gonna inflict 2100 and i'm gonna give it right back to you fucking wait wow all right don't you just hate when you go upstart to upstart to upstart to upstart it's fucking stupid i guess you decked in but it's just like wow like all right <laughs> i did 2100 and then gave him 3000 win <laughs> like no Absolutely not. Mmm. So, Necros. Damn, I just had the hard duel. Mirror match, Necros. Hopefully, lose on turns got put in a lot more work in this duel. Damn. Necros, too? Whew. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna try to show them that Klee's are good. Should we, should we probably hit as well? There's a turn. Negated turn defense mode for me. Go ahead and get your street effect. Like, oh yeah, it's the full ritual and I get the fucking, uh, and I get a search. Like, no. <laughs> like, this card's, this card's really good. Like, if they go after this, I wouldn't be surprised. Let's see the shenanigans that Necros can do, and let's see how good Lose One Turn is against them, because so far it seems great. Please don't sue me. Alright, so you're just going to throw the Regeki at me. Okay, I guess that's fine. He's just going to go ahead and just throw the Regeki at me. I don't even know who I want. Yeah, really, I don't even know who I want. Next turn, I'm gonna go ahead and play you. I like a monster. Okay, my opponent's just gonna scoop up. He's like, I can't lose one turn. Too strong. No. Okay. So damn, got some difficult duels. I'm, I'm pushing through. Okay, one more duel in this video. Be right back. All right, back. Stupid computer. It's like, hey, guess what? There's Windows 10. You want the Windows 10? Like, no, I fucking don't want the Windows 10. Really? All I fucking want is to stick with what I have. So once again, opened up with the scout, double scout, the power, the power is within. Someone said not to hit scout, but yet to ban sucker like, ooh, do you got Uki? You got Usagi? You playing that Usagi? Yes, you are. The power. The power that's inside. I would say, don't even think about touching me. Go ahead and give me that climate change. I can go ahead and grab my fucking shit back just in case you want to MST it, see? Cause I'm not dumb. I'm not dumb, I know. It was one of my scouts, so I'm just gonna go ahead and search climbing chain, so... This card. This card is really good for Klee's. Cause Klee's gonna go first and they get that scout, you just be like, nope. Yuki. Yuki. Yuki Usagi is the power. What do you know about the Uki Usagi? 
Usagi, as Mega Capital G calls it, like, no. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what I call it, so I was gonna search for you. So, I guess I'm thankful for drawing you. I guess. <laughs> so, I guess I'll go ahead and, uh, search for Monolith. So, why not? I'll go ahead and activate Scout. Scout, go ahead and search me. Stealth, quick to sacrifice, tribute for for stealth, and get them beautiful effects. Got the MST? Like I said, I, you know I have climate change, so I'll just go. If you get MST, I'll just go ahead and get both of them back. So, like I said, I, I, if I was playing Cleese, I'd probably main deck one of these. Just in case. Just in case for shit like that. Oh man, I could have got killer, and I could have pendulum summoned the fucking tribute for killer. Damn it! Eh, it's fine. It's fine. And I won't do that. I'll just activate you, and pendulum summon you, and tribute, and not play sacrifice right now. It's fine. Pendulum shotgun. One. So far, still don't know what we're facing. And tribute. Yes. Yes. That one. Turn you back to me, so I can get another search. Pop. Oh, okay. Well, that totally reveals what deck we're facing. <laughs> Ooh. It's gonna be a tough one, then. And I'm not gonna attack you. Nah, I'm take dual slow. Take dual slow, drop a killer on your face. Start applying pressure with killer next turn. Yeah. We'll go ahead and do that. Okay. Totally revealed what deck we're facing. Damn. Damn, he scooped it up too. Totally revealed what deck we're facing. Alright, well... It's long, not long enough. We'll get one more duel. Be right back. Alright, last duel. For sure, this time. For sure. Going against SS Goku. Oh, wow. Got my... Got a, got my oh, wow. That's the thing I'm going to be interested in. Is if this card drops down to one, what's up with the number generator? Because I got this and I got this. He's, he's playing Red Eyes. Red Eyes versus Cleave, alright, so, let's see. Got fucking both skill drain and lose a turn, so. Gonna go ahead and tribute that for Red Eyes, I guess. Oh no, the Black f Eyes, the Red Eyes Flare Dragon, the Gemini. Okay. Wonder what this is. Oh, no background. Okay. Wow, all the lose one turns. Oh yeah, my opponent's screwed. This hand wouldn't be that good, but if I didn't open up with Scout, Scout too strong. So that Scout is just like, wow. No. No. All that bounces. Who's the one that bounces? Carrier. Yeah, the one that bounces. So, we'll go ahead and almost open Carrier. Go ahead and equip him with that Sacrifice, because I happen to open up with it. This is a powerful ass hand that I have. Like, holy shit. Go ahead and kill... I have no idea what this is. Oh. Okay. I know what you're doing now. You're gonna go ahead and banish this to summon the red eyes and then XC into... I don't know. Yeah, you, you pretty much lose, because... Opened up the tits. The tits. They are all of mine. Ah, ah, ah. Let's go ahead and make lose one turn. So, I don't care if you summon the, the, the red eyes, but whatever you see into is going to be negated and, of course, turn to defense position itself. So. Next turn, I'll just go ahead and have Scout search me for 
uh, Clay Monster and I say MST. Like I said, look, 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 look how reliant my plays are. It all comes down to what uh, I can do with uh, Scout. That's one of the reasons why I like this card. <laughs> For Ben Chouse, it's so good in Klee's, like, Klee's, I don't even know why you don't play this card. Like, this card's so fucking good in your deck. And you get to go back to, to your original attack, but fucking, you can negate their shit. It's just it's fucking beautiful. It's a beautiful ass fucking card. I, I know they're playing in the OCG. So I'm back to my original attack plus the 300, so I'm at 2700. Okay, I guess. Did you even drop that summon skull? You get a scoop. See? Scout too strong. That's it. The hand, the, the fucking deck goes from like 0 to 100 just because of Scout. You get Scout and you own the town. Like I said, Scout is the core of the deck. You know? it, is, it is the core. So, I do not know why people are like, oh, no, no, you know. Cause see, I mean, sacrifice is cute and all, but I don't think it really should be. It doesn't deserve to be banned. It's not ban worthy. Nothing in Cleese is really ban worthy. You know, sacrifice is fine at one. Scout will be fine at one. Killer is fine at whatever you want to play him at, but generally one. Like I said, nothing in Cleese is not even close to being ban worthy. But should this be lowered down to one? Definitely, because it would just lower the consistency of the deck. The deck is too consistent. You get Scout, you go to town. You know, and with you know, upstarts and pots and you know. Odd eyes rebellion, you're gonna get you're gonna get this card. You're gonna get this card and once you get it, you go to town, so yeah. You know, just go ahead and just lower it down to one, lower the consistency of it. Good. I'm I'm not being I'm not being biased or anything. I'm not saying oh yeah, do it because I hate Cleese. I'm just trying to look at it from a, a deck standpoint. I clearly play the deck and clearly every single duel that I sat here and dueled, what was the winning factor? Scout. Scout, scout, yeah, you know, scout every time. Scout. Even when that, even the mirror match when I was doing that guy, he opened up with Scout. I didn't, and he started off way ham, way more ham than me. So, I mean, that Scout. You take away Scout, or at least drop it down to one, this deck just turns into a decent pendulum deck. Nothing wrong with that. You know, you still have your lose one turn, you can still have your forbidden chalices, you know, you still have all the shits, but just, you need a little consistency of this, because this is just too much. It's just, it's too powerful to be at. Even two, you know. Like I said, it's just like Necros of Bionic. Like, this and Necros of Bionic are pretty much in the same boat. Like, they're the center, they're center of the deck, and they're too powerful to be even at two. So they need to be dropped down to one. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode of Daily Duels. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with Burning Abyss. Alright, people, thanks for watching.